I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up guys, Average Sniper here bringing you another PUBG video. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, where's the PUBG gameplay since I started playing Firestorm? Are you still going to play PUBG? Of course I'm still going to play PUBG. I just really like Firestorm too. But today, it's all about PUBG. And it's been a while since I published a video with my updated strategies on winning in PUBG. So here we go. This applies to all platforms, whether you play on Xbox, PS4, PC, PUBG Mobile, PUBG Mobile Lite, PUBG Lite. Wow, there's a lot of different versions of PUBG. This applies to them all. So the first thing you want to do is, you know, get good at the parachute system, obviously, and make sure that you can land exactly where you want to land. Once you land, the most important thing is that you find a good weapon and uh, gear, medical supplies, and that's about it. As long as you can heal yourself, shoot people, and you have body armor and a helmet, that's pretty much all you need. I recommend an assault rifle as your primary and a long range weapon like a sniper rifle as your secondary. But you might have to start out with something a little different when you first drop because it's complete RNG. It just depends on what you find. But that is definitely the goal, to get that bolt action sniper rifle or a DMR. Anything that can do long range with just a couple shots. And that assault rifle for close to medium range. I would say don't play too aggressive. You kind of want to roll up and... If you want, if, I mean, if you want to get some kills, then obviously don't be the one that gets seen by the enemies first. You want to be the first one to see the enemies. So here we find two guys fighting. I heard them shooting in the distance. So I just pulled up, got a headshot on this guy. Always go for headshots if possible because that will do an incredible amount of damage compared to getting body shots when they're wearing a vest. It could be the difference between a one or two shot kill and a five or six shot kill depending on what armor they have. Now the reason I didn't push in on this guy after I killed him to loot him is because I knew there was somebody else out there. And after I killed this guy, I thought there's probably somebody else still hiding inside one of the buildings. So instead of going down there and looting and taking a huge risk, I decided to hop in the Jeep and take off. So having a vehicle is also really important. One, because it moves you around fast. Two, because the circle changes. Drive somewhere, central circle, with a good high point of view, and just camp. Camp as much as possible. Camping is how you win in Battle Royale games. Battle Royale games are designed to support campers to the fullest. So make sure you use third person so you can basically magically see around walls that you shouldn't be able to see and make sure you camp as much as possible using that third person to your advantage. Now there's the care package. Everybody knows that if you want to get a first place win, it is impossible to do without looting at least one care package. And that is a fact. So now that we know where the care package is, we take our very concealed vehicle and we drive over to the care package. Now this is a huge risk, but like I said, it's impossible to get a chicken dinner in this game unless you've looted at least one care package. It's actually in the uh, EULA, the End User License Agreement, which you agreed to when you decided to install and play this game. So we got an AWM with a 15 times scope, which is probably one of the worst guns in the game. But the point is we looted the care package and got all level three gear. All right. So even though we have the AWM, which is probably the worst gun you could ever have, uh, we are we are doing pretty good. Then you want to find a spot where you can magically see around things and camp some more. What we did is we drove the Jeep as far away as possible from where we heard any gunshots or saw any enemies. And we came out on this hill, which is good. And then I saw this guy crawling. So I just peeked around the corner and lit him up. Apparently crawling makes a lot of noise in this game. So that's probably something that you want to avoid doing if you uh, think somebody might be on a tree directly in front of you because that is a death sentence. Loot this guy real quick. You don't want to spend too much time looting. But then as soon as you get done looting, you definitely want to relocate into the zone. At this point, there's only eight people alive. So I decided I don't need my vehicle. I'll just run through this open field and hope nobody sees me. But that doesn't always work out. As you can see, I just got shot in my butt. But I can see it's this guy that did it. And he made a mistake because he shot me, but he kind of has to run straight towards me. So I take a couple well-aimed shot well shots with the AWM, worst gun in the game, and I get some misses. But then I see this guy down here. He must have been really wounded because the AWM takes him out of one shot. Then this guy that has to push towards me gets shredded with the assault rifle. Now you see why I like to have a long distance gun, aka bolt action sniper rifle, and an assault rifle. This is definitely the key to winning. So now that we've got five kills, we've looted a care package, and we have level three gear, our victory is pretty much assured. Now you can see there's only four people left, which means there's only three enemies left in this zone. We have two med kits, first aid kits, tons of boosts, 
we're probably not even going to need them because we're definitely the most equipped people in the zone except for this crappy AWM sniper rifle that we have. I took a shot at that guy, it hit him, but it didn't kill him, mostly due to the low damage on the AWM sniper rifle. All right, so now we just have to camp some more. We know where this guy is, and we just want to make sure that we can use our magical third-person peek to make sure we can see him, but he can't see us. Also, scan the surrounding areas with your sniper rifle 15 times scope to see if there's anyone else alive. You also can't win the game unless you have a 15 times scope that is also part of the EULA. So make sure you equip that 15 times scope from a care package to get the final win. Now this guy somehow managed to see where we were through a grenade, so now it's all out war. The zone is pushing, it's time to move. You definitely don't want to get caught in that blue zone. We hit him again with the AWM, but it does nothing because it's a crappy gun. Hit him again, still did nothing. Then he died outside the play zone. Then this guy died outside the play zone. Keep in mind there was only three people, so that's two out of three that just died in the play zone. Then we see the last guy over here. Aim in on him, and he takes a flying headbang into the ground, and also dies outside the play zone. And that is how you win. Make sure you loot a care package, get good gear, and let the last three guys die in the play zone in the final circle, and you are guaranteed victory every single time. I hope this helps you guys get more chicken dinners. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Later!